What's up, tennis fans? I'm Richard Pagliaro, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. Well, the red clay of Rome resembled the Spanish Davis Cup training ground. Today, for the first time in five years, four Spanish men reached the Italian Open quarterfinals, and three of them were victorious. Defending champion Rafael Nadal swept Stanislaw Wawrinka. Straight set Sone Dal is now bidding for his fifth Rome title and he'll play either 21-year-old Latvian Ernest Golvis or fellow Spaniard Feliciano Lopez in Saturday's semis. The other semi pits Fernando Verdasco, who scored his eighth straight win with a three-hour and 14-minute victory over 2009 runner-up Novak Djokovic in today's first quarterfinal. Verdasco will play David Ferrer, who scored his second straight win over a top-10 opponent downing Joe Wilfred Sanga 6-4. And 6 1. Nadal has won 57 consecutive clay court matches in the month of April. Nadal's last loss in April came on April 8, 2005, versus Igor Andreev in the Valencia quarterfinals. Rafa was only 18 at the time, so he's looking as close to invincible as he was about two years ago. It's interesting to think about who could stop Nadal. You look at the top five, none of those guys, in particular, Andy Murray struggled. Djokovic has not been back to a final since February, and Federer's biggest problem now is learning how to learning to close matches, which was once his strength. You look at the last three losses for Federer in Indian Wells, he had match points against Marcos Bagdadis, did not close. In Miami, match points against Thomas Burdich did not close. Golbis in the match against Federer earlier this week blew several match points, double faulted twice to give Federer a break back, give him a chance to come back, but Federer himself couldn't find the range on his forehand. So the big issue for Federer now is just learning to close those matches out in the stretch. He'll try to get back on track playing Estoril and then playing Madrid, but it certainly looks like Nadal's clay court season. And speaking of clay, the promise of Paris came to the clay courts of Boca Raton, Florida earlier this week, week as both Ryan Sweeting and Christina McHale Took advantage in securing their spot in the French Open. The pair won the USTA wild cards into the French Open main draw. Sweeting beat 17-year-old Ryan Harrison. And Christina McHale from New Jersey, you remember her playing the US Open last year, played the main draw in Paris as well. Two other Floridians going to play Rome, both on the comeback trail. Venus and Serena Williams both scheduled to play in the Italian Open women's draw. Both are in the same side of the draw, so they could square off in the semis, but it looks like it's going to be tough for that to happen. Serena could play Vera Zvonareva in the third round, followed by a quarterfinal against either Svetlana Kuznetsova, who, as you know, the reigning French Open champion, or Sam Stoser, who won Charleston and made the Stuttgart semis today. So it's a tough road. For Serena, Venus may have an even tougher one. Her first match will be against either Argentine Gisela Delco or Patty Schneider, who's beaten Serena twice in Rome. So it'll be interesting to see how the Williams sisters fare. As you remember, Serena has not played since injuring her knee in the Australian Open final. You look at Justine Hennen now, scoring, raising her record to 10-0, beating Yelena Yankovic today. And now Hennen closing in on that Stuttgart title, which she's won in the past. With the exception of Hennen, Carolyn Wozniacki, the world number two, struggling with an ankle injury. Daenerys Safina launched her comeback, and she lost today to Shahar Peer in Stuttgart. Those three women who've been up either at one or two, Wozniacki, Yankovic, Safina, both are, those are former number ones. If you had to pick one to break through and win their first major, who would it be? You let us know on the Tennis Now forums. That's it for now. For Tennis Now, I'm Richard Pagliaro. Have a great weekend.